Welcome to Star Citizen and the second part of the best community tools. In this video series, we present our favorites of the best tools for Star Citizen, with which you can get extensive possibilities to improve your game experience, use aids and facilitations, or which can simply save you time, nerves, and a lot of money. This is our free and uninfluenced opinion, without being involved in the tools or the sites presented. And if you have any suggestions for further first-class help, tools or extensions, please let us know. And since there is a lot of work and effort in each of the presented areas, the developers are very happy about a small acknowledgement of their work via Patreon or just a coffee. In the first part of the series, we have already presented some interesting tools, but now we will look at other very exciting areas. But first of all, a big thank you to the real ladies and gentlemen who make this video possible with their support as Patreons, channel members or Twitch subscribers. We start with the Universal Item Finder, which offers us the possibility to quickly and easily find every item, every armor, every ship component, all gadgets and variants, simply everything the verse has to offer. Using the practical search function, we get all the matching hits displayed directly, and in the details we find all the places to buy, prices and data on the respective item. In addition, there is a picture of the respective item, especially interesting for armors, which makes it much easier to put together the desired equipment, at least visually. But the comprehensive data on the items also offers more information than we get in the game itself. The possibilities don't just end with items or gadgets, but also extend to all ships that can be bought in the game with the corresponding sale places and prices. Therefore, the Universal Item Finder is another must-have top tool in our tools collection. Another very useful source of information is the Planetary Survey section, where we can find comprehensive information on all planets, moons and, in the future, also the various systems, including the respective locations, stations, caves and all areas worth being. In addition, we receive a clear compilation of information about the respective location, with possible danger situations and optimal navigation aid to reach areas that cannot be approached, information about possible trade and repair possibilities, as well as whether we can spawn vehicles or ships there. Thus, we get all the information at a glance, which can be found systematically and quickly for each area. Furthermore, any shops or special locations are linked again, which offers further details. And an extension of the Planetary Survey tool with a global search function is already in development and usable in the first stage of expansion. But a third feature is also worth a closer look. Under the item Moby Tracker, we can search directly for player names and receive direct links to the CIG profile. In addition, we can assign ratings in various areas for registered users. This way, we can leave a good rating for a helpful player. And another must-have is, of course, Urkel.games, which in the latest version offers us even more detailed and intuitive equipment, components and entire ship setups, so-called loadouts, which we can put together completely free of charge, and which offers a significant added value in many areas. We can also create a free account and save and share loadouts for the different ships. Using the power priority, we can change the energy distribution as in our ship and we can read the changing values directly in the tool. For the individual hard points of the ship, we directly receive an overview that shows all possible attachments and weapons that can be used there, whereby we also receive a search function directly with the selection. This allows us to compare the respective values directly with each other, use the sorting functions for different areas and compile the optimum loadouts for us. Changes made to the respective equipment components are directly visible in the overall view of the ship, 
in which the values already change accordingly when hovering over an item. Another interesting point is that changes in the game are clearly displayed in the change log, and we are this clearly informed about changes to weapons and components. In addition, with the current PTU version, we can switch between the live and PTU version at any time and thus determine any changes directly. The data is extracted directly from the game files through data mining, processed and implemented and made available in Urkel.games in a very timely manner. In this way, we have a fundamentally reliable database that is always up to date and, above all, very well maintained. But also, comfort functions like switching between a light or dark mode, changing the displays and the layout, as well as different slots in which we can store different equipment variants for a ship, are available. Therefore, the current version of the popular tool is a clear further development that leaves nothing to be desired. Another comfort feature worth highlighting is the highly recommended efficiency calculation of the various quantum drives, as well as the clear indication of the ranges of the various units. This allows us to quickly find the best mix of speed, fuel consumption and range for every size. Once we have finally put together our desired loadout, another function is highly recommended. Because with the non-stock items to cart function, we can create our own shopping cart, which shows all selected items not included in the standard, as well as the respective purchase options with the corresponding prices. And we can even export this list. As a small tip here, pay attention especially with several items on the list, whether a large intersection is not possible at the corresponding sales locations whereby you can then save yourself some intermediate stops. And thanks to the save and share function, which partly requires a free account, you can gradually adjust your loadouts and share them with your friends. Hercule also offers all the data on the respective ships with filters and sorting functions, as well as a practical comparison of the respective values. You are not limited to ships, but also can compare all components, weapons, missiles, bombs, EMPs and many other categories and find the best possible equipment for you. Therefore, Hercule.games is definitely one of the absolute top tools for Star Citizen, which we would not want to miss. With FleetYards.net, we have already presented a very comprehensive and visually appealing fleet manager in the first part of the video series, which offers an enormous range of functions. An alternative for pure fleet organization is offered by Fleet Manager, which is compatible with the Hangar Explorer browser extension and represents a further option for fleet organization. Here too, importing from other tools is possible as is the direct creation of a fleet. And after we introduced the CCU game, a very comprehensive browser add-on in the first part, the extension Hangar Explorer is also available for your browser. This is also available for Chrome and Firefox and offers a search and various sorting functions for your Hangar. The Hangar view changes directly on the CIG page and offers you extensive organization functions. And the Hangar Explorer add-on is also ad-free and absolutely free of charge. The next tool is an old acquaintance and offers a similar range of functions as our recommendation for trade and mining SC Trade Tools. Because at Gallog.co you also get an extensive database and a route planner for trading and mining. In addition, there is a member area for which a login is necessary, where trade orders can be placed and extended data is available. An additional function offers an overview of ships, as well as a mining calculator, which calculates your final profits based on mass and composition. Gallock offers interesting approaches and a good databases. 
With the next tool, we have once again arrived a must-have after the Star Citizen Wiki, which offers a huge wealth of information on the background, history, current development and extensive game data. Here we find all available information on almost every keyword or area, as well as many pictures and details. Only in the area of the ship's components and equipment are there sometimes irregularities in the current data. However, these are mostly marginal. The Star Citizen Wiki is definitely another top tool. SC Unpacked provides the databases for many tools and information sources, whereby the game data is extracted and processed directly using data mining. These are available in different display variants and are particularly interesting for developers of tools and add-ons. The advantage here lies in the databases, which is the information stored in the game. So we have also access to ship data and values for non-playable ships and equipment. So we also get data on ships like in Idris or Javelin. The possibilities for compulsion are rather rudimentary, where we have to resort to search function via the browser, especially for trade goods or mining. Then, however, we again receive valid data. However, it should also be noted here that individual areas in the game can also be switched to inactive by CIG, such as trading in scrap metal. The details on supplies and maximum quantities are very interesting, especially for traders. UEX, a project for traders and mining, concludes the game by using data provided by players. This data is collected by users directly in the game and stored in the tool. The advantage here lies in fundamentally more realistic profit data for routes, but it represents a snapshot of the respective situation of the player who have entered the data. Due to the system, we do not receive the current state of the game. However, trends and fundamental developments are recognizable. However, in contrast to valid game data as in SC trade tools, for beginners there are no unrealistic profit possibilities or the appearance of infinite availability of goods. Therefore, UEX offers a good alternative for beginners in trading. But also in the area of mining, the simple and appealing visual presentation quickly provides basic information on resources and their respective possible locations. Details on the quantity and quality of the resources on the various planets and moons, on the other hand, cannot be narrowed down. We can only find the right refinery for material by selecting all refineries individually, whereby we are only then shown the respective bonus and can thus determine the maximum bonus. The visual appearance of UEX is generally reminiscent of a stock exchange tool, showing trends and price developments simply and clearly. However, we often cannot agree with the recommendations of trading routes by the UEX rating in many areas, as trading in diamonds, titanium, medical supplies, stims, agritium, as well as other lucrative materials is often classified as not recommended due to the user data. In many cases, however, this does not reflect the current situation for trading for the player. However, the idea behind this is very promising, 